Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we'll talk about an image editing model called a Quem Image Edit. So this model can be used the, to if you make an edit to your input photo. I really recommend that you take a look at the blog. I think there's many examples. I think this one is the modified, in, improved version. I think uh, the multiple image inputs. You can provide uh, at most uh, three inputs to the model, and then you can run your instruction to make the edit of it. Best part of it is that uh, it can be able to run on MacBook. So today I will be showing demo on running it on my MacBook. So it's M3 Pro Max. I will be using the Comfy UI to do that. So Comfy UI provide a native support for it. So that's really nice. So uh, as usual, if you are not familiar with the Comfy UI, please uh, take a look at my previous tutorial on installing and running it on MacBook. It's uh, on my YouTube channel. Feel free to uh, search for it. So um, for the you need to activate your Python virtual environment. and uh, change your directory to your Comfy UI installation. So make sure that you do a, a git pull to get the latest uh, remote code to your local. And uh, you may need uh, to install uh, the requirements because uh, there may be some update. So that will be very uh, easy to do. You just uh, do a pip install dash r and the requirements dot txt. One thing that for the MacBook, in order to save some space, some RAM and some disk space, I really recommend to to do a custom node, which is called uh, the Comfy UI GGUF. So this one is a quantized version of the original model. The original model is about uh, 20 gigabytes. By using the GGUF quantization, you can really reduce the model size to about uh, 12 or 13 gigabytes. So that uh, can be really powerful. And make sure that you can also do a, a Grading of it if you install a previous version. And that's uh, really all we need. And then we can start our Comfy UI application the server. I will also start the uh, monitoring for GPU and for RAM, which is called the stats. So stats is a really uh, great looking user interface. It's monitoring your RAM and also CPU and also lots of sensors. There's lots of options. So for example, so this one is showing you the RAM. This one is showing you the GPU. If you are not familiar yet, I had a, a, a previous video talking about it. So we already have uh, the server up and running. We can go to the web browser. Sometimes uh, for this workflow, I uploaded it to my uh, website and also the GitHub repo. So please go there to download the workflow and drag it onto the web browser to load it. And it may give you um, a warning that there are missing models you can either download it directly if you have some bigger RAM, or if you not, you can use the GGUF. So in this case, I'm using the GGUF. But if you are um, have a bigger RAM, so for example, like a 64 gigabytes, connect those two to use the full model. If you don't have a bigger RAM, bigger VRAM, so you can use the GGUF node. So here. So that's an easy edit that you can do. I will leave it here. Um, all right, so once you load the workflow on the left side, there are some information about the models, where to download them. If you see anything missing, you can directly go to the, the URL to download that locally. So that 
And also you make sure that you move them to the model storage location specified in this tree structure here. There are some things that you can um, experiment with. So, so on the step two, so this is the uploading image for editing part. So you can either use one image or two or even three. Um, if you want to disable the second one, you can right click and uh, click the bypass. So in this case, only one input is used to do the editing. Um, and then you can choose an image file to start with. So for example, okay, so in this case, I will have a simple uh, image here and I will do the instruction. Simply change the sky in the image, change the color from blue to red. So this one is the instruction you want to uh, you want the model to perform to your input image. And then we can press run. And here's on the terminal what's going on here. Let's pay attention to the RAM usage. So after I click the run button, it uh, spikes quite a, uh, a lot because it's loading the model into the RAM and also to the GPU. And another thing I want to mention is that because we are using a, a LoRa, so this one is a four-step LoRa, it greatly reduced the number needed to do the inferencing. Previously, it needs 20 steps. By using this LoRa, we only need uh, like four steps perfectly working well on the MacBook. All right, we see that the RAM has been increased to 83%. And at the bottom one, there is a process, the Python, which uses about 27.6 gigabytes. And the GPU is starting to working at the full capacity at 100%. He's here. Yeah, and I also, if you look at the progress bar on the terminal, it shows that uh, estimated time is about uh, 2 minutes and uh, 20 seconds. Yes, we see that uh, the output has been generated. We successfully turned uh, the sky from blue to red and uh, looks very accurate and also looks beautiful. The total processing time for the four steps took uh, about uh, 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Next, uh, let's uh, try to use uh, two input images. So for the second one, right click it, and uh, on the bypass, left click on it to enable it. So this way we can see that we have uh, two input uh, images that we can utilize. So let's uh, see how to do it. All right, so this way we will try to uh, virtual close try on. So this way we, we provide a, a reference image and a reference uh, closing. So, and then we want to our model to wear the clothes. So, so I think this one can be really useful. For example, so this way, let's see, we can provide the first one. The first is your model image. And then the second one, we can use a costume. So in this case, we can provide an instruction. So this one, import an instruction here. We will do a dress the woman from image one in clothes from the image two. So this one is image one is the the first image, image two is the second image, and then we press the wrong button. Also, I think uh, because uh, right now we're using two image inputs, it uh, can take uh, more time than the one image input.
it uses more time than the, our previously one image input case. So in this case, let's see the output. Here is another output. I think uh, this is the better. If you look at uh, the details of the costume, Overall, I think uh, the Quem image edit is really a great model. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and uh, share it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.